Okay guys, this is the final instalment of the rebuild that we're doing on a TF Holden Rodeo. So 1993 model. Um, yeah, this is the final video um, and I hope you like it. All right, there we go. Undercoat done, primer, red oxide. Tray's got a lot of holes in it, but uh, I'm not gonna weld them up because yeah, somewhere for the water to go anyway, so. So it's looking pretty good. Ah, finally got the tray on. So, getting closer and closer come up really good too so I've got to get some mud guards weld some guards on here you know yeah weld some mud guards down there it looks a bit bare but yeah slap some stickers on already it's gonna Guys, be we're piece. at the front now so the upper and lower ball joints the actual rubbers split so they won't pass that um, these are split as well the ball joints we need a new shock because they won't pass that so yeah, we'll uh, we'll change all these out. We've got the whole kit here anyway to change them out. So lower ball joint. We've got a lower and upper, and these are the tie rod ends. And this is the shot opener. We're gonna fit as well. So uh, yeah, get into it. That's what. All right, guys. Um, yeah, just going through this car slowly. Bit disappointing uh, we found a lot more things that are actually wrong with it so um yeah we thought it was a water pump leaking but closer inspection it's not I'll show you so we've already starting to strip this thing so uh yeah the water pump normally goes here but we pressure tested and it's actually coming out the back of this housing here so this is all your time and um, time and chain and stuff behind this so we have to actually take the whole front of this off to get to this back cover that's the back part of it to get to this back cover because this gasket here is leaking like a sieve so uh absolutely you know upset about that but we can fix it hopefully that's not corroded it's just a gasket and we'll make a new one up but uh yeah bit of a mess here guys yeah we've got to we're waiting for parts because yeah things i keep finding things that are wrong so um what happened here is the top mount i don't know where i put it the spaces were absolutely destroyed on this side, uh, the bushes, sorry. So yeah, we're getting uh, new bushes tomorrow and we'll press them in at work. But uh, yeah, absolute mess at the moment. Tools and stuff everywhere. So um, yeah, quickly rip this off. And um, yeah, so we've already done the timing. So you gotta do your timing through these two holes here with a mirror and a torch. And uh, yeah, we'll get this front cover off and yeah, have a look gears out now so hopefully this cover will come off we'll see what the problem is but yeah laid them out there a bit i've actually marked them as well double marked them so yeah okay finally got the backing plate out so yeah it was leaking along here so basically the, there was no gasket there and you can see that's where it was leaking guys so uh yeah pretty big job actually so um yeah should be right we'll see what i can do might have to get a new one don't know yet see if we can clean it up first so yeah hopefully it'll be all right okay um yeah the dog box so we've been mucking around with the dog box quite a bit um my neighbor massive shout out to him he has just dropped us off um some steel so he actually bought a pallet of this and he's had it sitting around for a while so this is going to be the sides so um yeah we'll get into cutting this out and mocking it up for the sides and the doors and stuff then i'll take it to work and weld it up so uh yeah should be good all right guys, my mate gave me this solar panel um, and it absolutely fits a treat on the top of the dog box. So uh, yeah, it's just uh, one of their flexi, flexi ones, but yeah, it fits straight on top of the dog box. We'll wire it up and uh, yeah, just we'll use them big 
well I might bolt it down or could pop rivet it I don't, I'm not sure but then we got um we made up some um roof racks for that as well made some roof racks here for it so these are hopefully going to fit on fit on there like that so yeah you can put a kayak on there like so yeah it doesn't damage the solar panel so yeah one on each side yeah these little roof racks so hopefully be a good thing yeah guys i'm gonna cheat i'm not gonna measure it and stuff like that all i'm gonna do is do what i've just done laid it there for the side and we'll mark around it and then we'll cut it out so what you do drop it on its side get the pen go along and mark it so yeah we leveled it up with there the sheet and we leveled it with the bottom so yeah, we just marked it all the way around. So we can take that off now, we can cut it out. Okay guys, um, the Rodeo TF is finally finished over the pits. It's all good. Um, we've camped in it and we've test drove it and we did find a couple little things wrong, but it was been sitting in a paddock for a year and a half. We found the fuel lines were cracked and stuff and it was sucking in air, but we've replaced all those. So yeah, it's going absolutely mint. So this is what it looks like now. So absolutely stoked with this thing. <laughs> all right we'll show you in here now it's a bit messy but it's all good so yeah we got the mppt solar panel charger charging the battery which is down there i'll get to the other side soon so we've got our air compressor, bits and bats, sleeping bag, and there's actually a pillow behind there. So that's this side. It's for, yeah, you, just your yeah clothes and stuff. Put a fishing rod holder on here. Um, yeah, because being a car like this, yeah, decided to chuck the fishing rod holders on here. So if you go beach fishing, yeah, you just hop out the car and pick them up or if you go yeah redfin fishing as well you can just chuck them in there so this is the other side to push on this one so this is this side so i've got all my cookers cookers up there um knife and forks stuff like that there's a dual battery right there got the fridge i haven't put it on a slide yet i'm still waiting I didn't put on a slide, we've been test driving this thing, I've actually gone and snapped off the other one of these because it's hit there as you can see and rubbing so I'll get a fridge slide sometime for that. But yeah that's basically it and we put this seal down the side just to seal the dust and the rain so it hasn't rained yet but we'll see what happens if it leaks or not. So yeah that's about it.